many a reason someone would decide to have children. The lifelong enrichment, the furthering of the species, and having someone to make the tea when you're hungover. But no one has been putting the kids through their paces like the extreme left. Creating sleeper agents in the form of the new generation and taking the mantra of the Catholic Church. Get them while they're young. So sprinkle some fairy dust and write a fan letter to Coney. We're weaponizing children. If that was designed to tug on my heartstrings, you missed. And you pulled on my scoffing strings instead. I mean, fuck, you're in fucking America. Finding a decent child actor should be easy. I'm just saying, Peter Dinklage would have fucking nailed that. Oh, so we're being set up for a sad one here then, aren't we? The Huffington Post says the kids are upset, and that must be true, because look how dull the colours are in this video. Listen to the sad music. Where's the one place you get dull colours and sad music? Trump's America, that's where. I'll say action, okay? Can you hold down the paper just a little bit lower? Yeah. Awesome. Action. How much direction did that kid need then? Fucking terrible. And she hasn't even memorized her lines, for fuck's sake. We won't be seeing this one during pilot season. Oh no, not very professional. Dear Mr. President, when you were elected, it was not my best day. It wasn't my best day. Did you have to get a kid to read out a script written by an old fucking man? Fucking hell, 30 seconds in and we already know this is fabricated bullshit. Well, saying that, we knew that as soon as we saw the Huffington Post logo, but carrying on. But my mom told me to give you a chance. But it's really hard to give you a chance when you are making all these crazy and dumb decisions, like banning Muslims from seven different countries. Oh, come on, even a kid can understand the difference between a ban and a suspension? So either this is very, very poor propaganda, or we need to have a serious chat about the US education system. I heard you won the election. Congratulations. How old is he? Like nine? Congratulations, my ass. But I wanted to tell you that please don't build the wall. No, you wanted to ask. What are they teaching in this fucking school? And anyway, what are you on about don't build the wall? Kids love climbing things. I trust you to be our president, but I know you're not the person you say you are. Aw, oh, foreign little girl doesn't understand politics. That's okay, because she's a little girl and doesn't yet realize someone in politics being who they say they are is unfucking precedented. And that's fine. You're young and probably think lying out your ass is the right way to govern a country. In that respect, the Huffington Post would make a fucking awesome president. Today I am writing this letter to inform you that I'm an immigrant. Oh, so she can't fucking pronounce the word immigrant, but she can write it down, can she? Oh, come on, y you guys aren't even trying anymore, are you? Just whack some kids on the screen and get them to read any old shit, right? Get one so young they can't even read the script. They just hold up a crayon picture of Trump stabbing their abuela in the face. These people are coming for a better life, for food, and for a better future for their family. Sorry, what was that? Coming for a better life and what? These people are coming for a better life, for food, and for a better future for their family. Yeah, no idea what you're saying there, kid, but I don't think you should come to a new country for a better life and then complain about the way it's ran because, you know, you can always fuck off back over the border. In fact, keep up your shit and you might have to. I'm not a citizen, but I know what I'm doing here. Soaking up all the amenities paid for by citizens, I guess. That's all good, though. You're just a kid. You can't help it. But a helpful lesson in life for you, princess, would be to run and hide whenever the Huffington Post comes to your school looking for immigrant children. And if you get deported over the next couple of weeks, be sure to send them a thank you letter for releasing a video of you saying you're not a citizen. We are not different only because you talk English and we talk Spanish. Yeah, I'm not getting schooled on immigration by a little fucking kid. And I bet you didn't even vote, you little shit. You're not a citizen and you're not old enough. Actually, shit, I bet that didn't even stop you. Latino folk love voting so much that sometimes they do it twice. Please make America great in good ways because I have friends that you might send away. 
Nice lingering shot there while that sinks in. Yeah, let's change an executive order so little Lorena here doesn't have to make any white friends. I don't give a fuck. You'll get over it like your parents did the border. I don't want my family to be separated. Ah, the shuffling of the feet shot. It shows how nervous he is because his family might be deported. Obviously done in a separate shot though, unless the Huffington Post has two cameras, one for the face and one for the feet. So yeah, that, that was obviously set up. Probably not even his feet. They had to get a fucking professional in to do it. Donald Trump, te lo pido, esta yo estoy llorando y con el corazón rompido, que por favor no nos separes de nuestros padres. She isn't even speaking English! What the fuck? How do you think that's gonna help your calls? Plus, I don't speak enough Spanish to follow what you said there, so I really have to trust the subtitles. I mean, you could have said anything there. You could have said build the wall. I don't know. No, no nos dices ir para allá, por favor. Oh, two separate shots, meaning they got her to do that twice. And if I were directing, I would have got her to do it three times because the first and second attempt were just not convincing. But no, oh, the poor girl doesn't want to go to a country where she can actually communicate with people. If you don't build a wall and separate families, I'm going to tell everyone you're my number one president. Well, there's your incentive, Donald Trump. And who could say no to that? You wouldn't have stemmed the flow of illegal immigrants into your country and would have gone back on what you said you'd do, but you'd have the admiration of an infant with no citizenship or political sway. I don't know how anyone could turn that down. I know I can't make you change your mind, but a president is supposed to care for his country. And one day, when you're running for office, you may understand that politics aren't actually as simple as you thought they were when you were nine. Fucking hell, how are they getting a minor to patronize the fucking president of the United States? If Clinton got in, they'd be sat there begging her not to go to war with Russia. Hell, we all would be. I hope you have a wonderful day, Mr. Trump. Oh, fuck off, you crawly bum licker. You wrote him a letter just to say that. You could have tweeted it directly to him. I thought kids were down with technology. I don't want to say my name because I'm, I'm scared. Well, a bit late for that. Now your face has been splashed all over it, buddy. Way to pick your fucking battles. The Huffington Post really sold you out on that one, didn't they? You don't want to say your name because you're scared, but you're an illegal immigrant. It's not like your name's on any kind of fucking register. And remember. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, put, put, put. I do the and remember. Fucking coming over here, taking our catchphrases. Anyway, so there we go. A perfect example of how the left will use their own children to push their agenda. Honestly, no one's safe. Never mind the fact that asking a kid about their political opinions is like asking Jupiter what it thinks of the fishing industry in Canada. It doesn't care. No interest whatsoever. Probably doesn't even know what Canada is. Or fish. Honestly, they're nothing more than tools to these people and it's driving me fucking mad. And what about the kid who said he didn't want to say his name? If that is true, why did they make him read that shit out in the first place? I mean, the way I understand it, there's not exactly a shortage of immigrant children to choose from. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember... America is counting on you. Ah, uh, no! No! I told you! Bad girl! Bad girl! Oh, do you know what? Fuck it! Roll the fucking outro!